Hey Stampers, Gina again and we're back with another page in our book. So let's get some paper. I still I keep forgetting to cut these down to size. I know, I know, naughty girl. Get the trim up. Eight and three quarters. Whoops, look at that. That's better. Eight and three quarters by seven and five eighths. So I have cut out some little cutouts and black backed them all on uh, black cardstock. I might as well do a couple while I'm here, just in case. Keep me going for a minute, just while i got the trimmer out. Um, yes, I'll show you those in a moment. So I keep these strips, they're coming handy. And the seven and five eighths. That little strip isn't worth nothing really. Let's get a couple of pages sorted. Maybe I can continue filming uh, more than one page. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But I'm enjoying these pages because they're both my sister. I'm really going to enjoy creating these pages for her. So we've got three ready there. Keep these strips perfect for journaling on and turning into tags as well. So I've gone ahead and made a few tags actually. I cut these out from this paper. Uh, I added, um, I don't know what they're called, you know with the crocodile and then put some ribbons on, add them all a little bit different. I backed some of these so we can add some of those to the pages we've already done. And we can carry on creating these wonderful pages now. So, page three. <laughs> so, let me get my notes out because I make I do make notes on what I want to make. Um, color flaps, top bottoms, and side pockets. Right, I'm going to grab some black as well. of slices of black slices a piece of paper so I'm gonna do full-on flaps this time so don't forget your half inch let's cut this down to size that way first so a little gap either side And then we can do our scoring. Now, let me do that piece as well whilst the trimmer is out. Just the same size, more or less, with a tiny little, uh, tiny little head. So I've been using up my scraps as well, so don't throw any of these because they come in handy for backing things as well. So let me now, I'm going to do some nice edging on one of these. So let's score this at half an inch. Give that a fold. Now we should know where, and I'll score that one as well while we're here. So more of my edge dies came this morning. So I'll show them in a minute. And because these are nice long wide pages. Nice little border either side. Perfect. I can now determine the length. 
So if I do it exactly on the edge of the paper there for the first one, so that's exactly the same length. But, and we are going to use a die now to cut out. So it will lift our paper slightly. See, it's more or less on the edge. So I've got all these wonderful dies now and these ones on the bottom are long enough for me because one will cut out and then you can add either stitching or dots or larger dots and then you just literally let me just move that out of the way and I will pop that on there right on the edge And this one is supposed to be the same. It, well, it is, isn't it? Just, whoops. Let me get some washi. Hold it into place. So let's set that down first. To place so we want roughly the same there don't we <coughs> so if that's just just over a quarter of an inch right let me just which bit test the bit on the end again right three eighths of an inch three-eighths of an inch perfect and then I can decide whether I want the large dots I don't think I will have the large dots I think I'll go for this stitched edge because that'll follow that pattern lovely then beautiful so I'll have to do it on the large machine so uh, give me a second oh my goodness am I gonna be able to I'm not I don't think I'll be able to get that through the machine unless it's wide enough oh my goodness don't say that now because I want that on there no I cannot get it through Oh, that's how can I do that now without? Because it's too wide to go in that way, and it's too wide to go in that way. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take an inch off there and dye that, and then I can stick it back on. And then when we add our DSP, no one will see. Oh, there is a will, there's a way. So if I cut that at one and a half inches, say, that's too big. Okay, one inch. I can now die cut that out and reattach. Oh, let's fingers crossed it works. Now it's cut it out. Oh, 
moment of truth. Yeah, I can see that it's cut. So that's the piece we've tapped off. That's the piece. That is beautiful. But when we come to decorate, then I'm going to have the same problem, aren't I? Oh, what am I doing? I need a bigger die cut machine. That's the biggest one I've got. So my flap is now a lot shorter. <laughs> this then needs to go on there. I know what I can do. Ooh, turn this over. I'm going to reattach that. Double-sided tape. I know. Method to my madness. Don't move. Oh, just let's turn that over. You've got the slightest. I'm going to add double sided tape on there too. Or should we do that after? No. Nope. I'm going to have a small slither in a different colour. there and washi tape there and then when we come to add DSP we cut an inch we do the same cutting out and stick a different pattern totally different to the one we've added we're going to add to the page so that will go on there a nice little border and that takes that right the way down to the edge and looks Fun Bobby Dorsey. So let's pick. I'm going to use the Love Washi Tape. I might just leave that plain black actually. Perfect. That can stay black and our DSP can start from there up. And the same on this side. I'm going to use the silver. leave that plain. That is wonderful. Yay! There, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> now we can add this page. Leaving us with a tiny little white board. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I may put a line of material or the ribbon on there as well. That can stay like that. Oh, it's lovely. So, glue it, they're ready. With the other flap, I shall leave that uh, plain. Or I could use my border punch. Level all the way across. 
across. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There's our top flap. Oh my goodness, that is it's gonna look absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Oh I love it. So get your distress ink out ready. ready the gray is there we need the gray because we don't we're going to do four gray and four pink that is beautiful I think this one was going to is going to be a gray one because of the desire uh, the washi tape i love that let's see what we can add so we've got that textured paper we've got the gorgeous butterflies the sweetest thing maybe got that beautiful pattern there as well oh I love it that's maybe look at those trees my sister loves the outdoors see mind you we've got that gorgeous lace stripes I always like a stripe but I don't want the pink so if anything it's going to be the trees or I think I'm gonna use that one why not just to cover but leave it so she can still add a photograph It's just my eyesight, is it? Gain has gone the wonk again. <laughs> so let's flip this and turn it upside down. Nope, yeah, turn it that way. Whoops, because I want the smallest border ever. Oh, I'm loving these 8x8 eight eight papers. They're just the right size. Make sure we cut off the... These can be saved to go on like a herringbone style card or pet photo mat. a slight little border we can pull that down just a fraction look at that is that is it me on the wonk or is it <laughs> I'm just going to take another slither off there for some reason this does not seem to want to be straight it is straight Tiniest little slither. That way we can make adjustments. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Look at that. It's right out, isn't it? I think it's this that's out at the bottom. So I'll just stick. Oh. I'm a fool. If I take a slither off the bottom, making sure it's all safe and straight. Right. It is off, just as touch. Yes, it was. It, it was the paper that was off, not me. That's a lot better. Yay, get it on there quick. <laughs> What's Gainer like? I am 
so grateful that I opened up a fresh bottle because we'd be shaking like crazy now trying to get the last little dregs out. So when it gets down to, say, about there, I open a new bottle and stand that other bottle upside down. So when we've emptied at least two of them, we can fill them back up. Beautiful. Gorgeous feel to that page. Isn't that beautiful? So we don't need those. Not yet. Dana and her bright ideas. <laughs> but we'll keep them out. I've got loads of other dyes actually that I use from the BB Crafts. So I may even add some of these, uh, like these beautiful, that would look gorgeous in a different colour. I don't want the words. But we've got these lovely dyes to add in here as well. Absolutely beautiful, and the little hearts, and that is so sweet. These are absolutely gorgeous as well. You know, we could glue that back down and let's add some acetate on the front so you can slide a photo behind. And I love them, absolutely love them. In the right colour, would look perfect. So I'm leaving these out where I can see them. And then we can have a play around. So now we need to open this up so we can measure and add our bottom flap. Again, I'm going to take this one. All the way to say there. Oops. Make sure that's pushed on straight so it is straight. And this is going to be our. Perfect. Let's get a punch. I've got this gorgeous one here. I'm going to use that, I think. Ah, oh, this one. I can carry on with my pattern. I just wanted to start it off. A little bit there. Tiny little bit of a hangover there, which will be gone now. Perfect. So that will have a pattern on it as well. That is wicked. Love that. So let's get attaching. I 
I didn't sponge, did I? Ugh. Perfect, that is gorgeous. Beautiful. There's plenty of space for a full size photo there. We may frame this off again. I'm just thinking. I'm gonna should I add a pocket on the inside? I'd have to use one of these. I do want pockets actually. Let's take those two at the back and maybe have a thin one as well. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Ooh. With the larger one. Thinner one for the inside. So, score this half inch. millimeters away from the end. Making sure that's nice and level. Let's just check. perfectly right on the edge there but for some reason oh I'm going to leave it like that right just for a second I might even shall I put that on there because that's the perfect width on there so let me just turn this pocket around um, keeping that about a millimeter away from the join seal this. Right along the edge, it's exactly the same width. Keep a mill away from the bottom. When she opens, she'll have space to add photo mats or keepsakes and stuff there. Love it. And then what I want to do on it here, I would have liked. Uh, I would have liked to um, have bleh, a corner pocket, but this is not going to be big enough because I want to take it quite high so they can go for something else let me grab 
have another sheet. So I want that to come up to there. Let's mark that. Let me trim that. And then we can decide. More paper spare. Love it. The more the merrier. Don't need that now. And I'm going to score. Ah, silly, silly sausage. Let me just pop that to one side for a minute. It's hard to work with all these flaps in your face. So, if I attach that, I should have compensated half an inch. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just notch that up to there. And I will score half an inch, just on that one side as well. Keep that along that edge. Doesn't matter about this edge because we're going to chop off anyway and we're not going to glue this side down so she can add. So if I say come up ooh, say a good say two and a half inches Now take, oh let me just close those flaps for a sec. So I'm going to cut from there all the way to that corner. That corner. Just getting it in the track. some DSP under there now. Just before we attach that. So again, let's pick. Let's go for that textured one. That one. Absolutely gorgeous. The right feel to that is beautiful. Right, oh, let's see. Looks like it's going on there. To there. I need to tuck that inside. And I don't think it's going to be quite big enough. Mm. 
Mind you, I could add a washi on there, couldn't I? Or some ribbon. So, keep that in the right place. That needs to come off. first. Don't want to make any boo boobs. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Good job I did cut in a straight line, isn't it? Because knowing my that, I'd have cut it at an angle. And uh, so let's add this first. Give his eyesight, it is. On the wonk. I'm going to be able to put loads of photos in this, you know. some nice edgings on these photo mats. I mean now we could save on paper by actually chopping that at an angle but knowing my luck I'll get it wrong. So this is coming down about two mil away from it's going to line up with that point perfectly. Lovely. Love it. And then our textured paper. glue all the way down that's it into that I'm not even going to take that back out. I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this from here. Oops, don't worry about that. Now I can keep it into place. sooner it ooze out then and not come out at all. That's perfect. Oh, I love it. Love it. Right up to this edge. decorate that section and I'm going to add some ribbon up there. I'll just make sure this isn't oozing. Two seconds. Right.
let me trim that off and make it level. A double sided tip. fingers and thumbs. I've just dropped that. Oh, thankfully. Just move that out of the way a sec. Oh, again, again, again. Uh. Right on the edge. Perfect. Oh, I love this stuff. Get a bit of a contrast. That is beautiful. More textures. This is textured. This is beautiful. I love that. We're going to pocket in there. Me, I'm not going to add a pocket in there. I am just literally going to have that as one large photo mat. My sister can add a large picture of her and hubby when they finally type. I forgot to sponge again, haven't I? I am hopeless. Hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. But I'm going to have a photo mat there in white. We'll have DSP here. I couldn't separate the cardstock. So, small border. In fact, I might even tuck it inside. If that's the case, I'm going to there. So, let's. I need to know roughly how much. If I take it to the top of the card, oh, Just this side of that line. Perfect. Turn that over. Even. Oh, what is it? I have no idea. Let's turn it back. <laughs> so let's see if we can slide that in. Oh, look at that. Absolute perfection. Perfect. quite worried when their pattern ends on the end like that. I hate because they do start to curl up sometimes. Just have to be really careful.
beautiful absolute beautiful so that's the bottom packet so that can be opened and she can add a photo on there Love that. Right. Paper. Let's add a piece of this. Let's flip it over. first. Nice and straight. I'm keeping it organised this time. Left it all sprawled out on my desk last time and it was doing my head in. So that is going to give me Another fraction to come off. And the height needs to be there. So, millimetre off. And I mean a millimetre. And the height is there. Actually, two and a half. Hmm. Let's test this piece. Ooh, perfect. I'm going to get some sponging on this one this time. Now I've remembered. It's really subtle the sponging is, but I think it just helps make it more vintagey. Soon goes off this does. Paper, paper, paper. Love it, love it. And we've got these beautiful, beautiful pieces. She can add a photo or maybe two on the back. So I'm going to slide one of them in there. Oh, I want to do something with these patterned ones. I 
that look, we've got all these beautiful ones. Congrats, groom, bride, get married. Oh, I love them. So that's, oh, the next one. I'm going to add a buckler in there. We're going to decorate that now. So let's get what's on the back. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just there. Let's cut that off first. I know it's a bit of a pain me putting this away, but I'm not going to lose any that way. I'm even keeping these strips. So, right, our piece is going to be perfect there, to there. So, I want to come to there, so I'm going to cut from the corner to that section. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> right on the corner. Shame. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Look at it. I'm loving it. Perfect sponge. Don't forget this time. Oh, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm just, my head is going round 40 to the dozen, thinking of what I can add, where and when, and with what, and <laughs> I'm just enjoying the whole experience. Take my sister, well she's 10 years younger than me, and they've been together, whoops, 20 years, bless them, come February next year. Never wanted children, but she dotes on all the nieces and nephews. She just never wanted kids. Um, she loves her animals. Loves kids, but doesn't want any of her own. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I like them on there. Slant. So we're going to add a photo mat on here now. 
so let's see oh do you know what it might not be it's wide enough which is perfect and I can add a strip of designer series paper across there and she's still got space to add a gorgeous photo so mark on there so mark on there Loving it. Too close to this edge. I'm gonna clean that off. Beautiful. I don't know what that one there is. Just a bit of glue underneath. Right. Oh. Now we can't use that, can we? Oh, my battery. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. The battery died to death, so uh, I've just switched it around. Pity that's not long enough, because that would look nice on there. Mind you, do we have? We have some more. Let's hope this is long enough, and it sure is. And if I take it that side, I can take that off. It's giving me the smallest little border all the way around. So let me just. Oh, I bet I don't. <laughs> it's getting her again now, right? That is going there. Beautiful. Keeping those pieces. <laughs> I know I'm sad, aren't I? Smallest border. Take that across there. And that will dress that beautifully. Love it. Sponge. Do it over the white cardstock, should I? I love this bit. about the noise. A lot of people have asked, please let me watch you make this video because I'm making one for my daughter. You know, I can't say no. And people ask so nicely. All these good strips come in handy. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.
and I want to use all of these little strips here. Let me just have a look. That is beautiful. Maybe glue that on there. Still got space for a large photo and can tuck stuff behind. Oh, I don't know. Maybe pop that on there even. Or up there. Or in the centre. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, mind you. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I know that's the bottom. I should have to. I'm going to pop that right there. Or oh, that one, because that's quite neutral. It doesn't matter which way around that one goes on. Or even that one, so she can journal on it. Or oh, just have it above. Yeah, just doing the bottom bit. Let's take those out just for a sec. So that is level. Looks good to me. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's the bottom bit. So she can still journal on there. That's coming up there. We've just got to decorate the... Oh, we've only got to decorate this piece now. Yay! And I'm going to add a photo mat and DSP. So... I've got a smaller that's not wide enough. Let's get a fresh sheet. Let's check the distance. Maybe cut that at four inches. Perfect. Beautiful. that's four by the width she can add a photo on there and check that distance so she's got about three and a half at the top and she's got uh, one two three yeah four inches at the bottom for photos three and a half inches at the top so she can add a photo on there as well. Let's see what we've got in here. Have I got any side labels that I could put in at the side? That one. Oh, wedding. Oh, look at it. I could skim that off. Skim that off. 
push that to one side. Yep, I'm going to do that. Trim off these sides. Keep it all level. Is that it? Let's see if that works. Another line at the bottom. Looks perfect. I'm going to glue that on there and then I'm going to put a section in there as well. sponge. I don't want to do this one in pink for some reason. That's better. That is so cute. Oh, look at the pattern on the back. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. I want to add something with lines. Where's one of those plain ones? There we go. Let's trim off those grey bits. I'm going to cut in between those lines, there, you could even put, I'm trying to think, the lines are going the wrong way now. I'm going to take this close to there. Don't worry about these bits, they're not going to go to waste. You'll find other. Oh, look at that, perfect. And I'm just going to. And then a fraction. Look at that, that's perfect. Perfect. And I'm going to leave that white. I'm loving it. So she can add more journaling spots. Oh, 
mind you, I could turn that over. Yeah, let's do it. Don't have too many lines for her to write on, do we? She needs to be adding photos, not writing in it. It's not a notebook. <laughs> Love it. Right. Absolutely beautiful. Plenty of space for photos. She could even section that so she could have four small ones. I'm just going to... I don't know what that is on the end there. Looks like a bit of glue. And it was. So we've completed another page. I'm going to add photo books later, you know, and photo mats. And when I see what scraps I've got left at the end, I can decorate all the photo mats. So that comes up. Uh, save the date, wedding. She can write all her info on there. Add a massive photo there. She's going to have a photo, maybe pop one a small 4x4 four four there. Then the photo mat. She's got these. She can journal or add photos on the backs of these. Especially for photos there. Little mini ones. And... Obviously, that is absolutely gorgeous. And then this page just closes down. Absolutely wonderful. Let's see what we've got here. That's got nothing to do with this paper whatsoever. Um, oh, it's just plain on the back. I don't know. No, I'm gonna. I'll find something to go on there. I'll even make something with uh, these bits that I've got. Thank you. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we'll we'll find something. We'll we'll have another video at the end anyway for all the finishing touches and decoration, extra decoration. Oh my goodness, I've got my distress ink on there. Oh, I did. It's gone. So there we go. Love and leave you, and I shall be back with another page on the next video. So till next time, love you all. Bye.